Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 17th. But you know, the timing is fluid, so that may, this may resonate a few days, you know, give or take a few. That's the way it is with these daily vibes. Sometimes they don't resonate with me for a few days, or sometimes they don't even resonate at all. So keep that in mind. Now y'all know by now I go by what my guides tell me to say. I don't go by any tradition, even though I am the Hierophant. I go by what I am, and the, the Hierophant is the inner guide. I go by what my guides tell me to say. And, I, and, and it has nothing to do with if people like it or not. Or if it's what... Somebody else, another reader, thinks it should be. I go by what my inner guide tells me to say. And that's never going to change. People will often say to me, how'd you grow your gift? How'd you get to be a tarot reader? How did you do this? I get this question a lot, like constantly. You want to know? Want me to tell you the secret? You want to know the secret? I listened. That's my secret. I listened to what they told me. Without caring what anybody else said. The hair font is about believing in yourself, following your own path, listening to your inner guide. It's represented by the sign of Taurus. Something has been unclear. Intuition has been talking to somebody. Now I have to remind you guys that every word that comes out of my mouth during a reading from the minute I start talking is pertinent to this reading. Somebody hadn't been listening to their intuition. Their intuition been talking to them. Trying to escape reality. It's like they've had a clouded, you know, they've decided, they've been allowing their, it's like a clouded perception. Mm. Something has been going on beneath the surface. And perhaps, I mean, don't we have a new moon, a full moon coming up? We do have a full moon coming up. The mo moon could be revealing something. Okay. Just saying. This moon that's coming up could be revealing something. So be prepared for that. Probably is going to reveal something. Okay. Here we have the emperor. This is represented to me. This is an Aries, Taurus, or Capricorn. Could be any other man. But this is somebody that is very prominent and dominant. A leader. We have a leader here. But this reading is for the 17th, right? I'm just talking to myself. Oh, yikes. Somebody's been, you know, dealing with a lot of tension. 
there's been like a constant back and forth pull in be, you know strength lack of strength I want to fight for this. I'm giving up. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. So, yay. Death, the end. Okay, so death. We have a we have an ending here, or a release, a transition, a transformation. Somebody is releasing something. And it's been really heavy okay there's been a lot of back and forth tension and it's going to be released because it can't you can't you can't you can't pretend that this is gonna you can't escape it you can't you know hide it forever when there's tension and there's power struggles and there's conflict and it's just it's like i can't do this forever so there's a release here. There's a release. Somebody is going to let go of something that has some tension. It's like, I'm just going to drop, okay? Somebody's going to drop, okay? They're going to because they, they can't. I mean, somebody's going to drop. Somebody's going to give up because it's, it, they can't. I can't do it anymore. And I started it before these, car, before these cards came, even came out. I mean, there's been back and forth. I want to fight. I don't want to fight. So somebody's about to drop. Somebody's about to stop playing. They've tried to escape it. Their intuition's been telling them, but it's at the surface now. See, it's no longer underneath. It's at the surface. And it's big. Whatever this is good that's gonna be dropped is big. It's big. It's time for a transformation. It's time for this transition. It's time to accept the truth that's been hidden, whatever this is. Ooh, they've avoided this for a while. I have tried and tried and tried and tried to avoid. Somebody has tried to avoid this collapse, right? But the, I've tried to avoid it. I have. I've tr they've tried not to drop. I've tried not to. Somebody has, has really put in a lot of effort to keep something upright, you know, to keep themselves upright, to keep them, you know, above ground. But constantly going back and forth and constantly battling and constantly playing this game has caused you know a lack of growth a lack of happiness and ill health perhaps it's like their health has been declining by <sighs> holding on but you know you can you can only do this for so long before you do drop because it's you get weak i mean Somebody is absolutely uh, giving up the fight. I, I mean, is this like a replay of the other reading? Sounds like it, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, somebody is giving up the fight. You know, I, giving up, withdrawing. This is the queen, the king of withdrawal in reversed. I am withdrawing from this tug of war. I'm withdrawing. Can't fight, not going to fight. There's, this is a unstable foundation. I can't avoid it any longer. The, I'm bleeding. The hands are now bleeding. It's like to the point where there's... It's too painful. It's too painful. So somebody is headed towards more. It's like I want more. I want more. I want... More emotional fulfillment. I want love. So I think that the the time is up. Okay, the time is up. The truth is absolutely coming out. Okay, the truth is coming out. That's what this this oh, that little line up right there. Truth is coming out. It's being revealed. This person is no longer happy, and he has to take the lead. He's the leader. He's the boss. He knows it. He knows it. 
I'm the boss. I got to do this. I got to protect myself. I got to protect everybody else involved. And it's time to bring back structure and organization to this situation because wherever we're at, there's no happiness, there's no growth, there's no... Sorry, I hit that. Bliss, you know? There's been a deterioration of, of health. It's like, have we been deteriorating here? And now, now they're giving up. Somebody's given up. And they've avoided it as long as they can. We're at the point where the hands are, or they're bleeding. It's like to the point where I just can't, I can't do this anymore. You win, I'm out. I'm done. So in search for something more. I'm in search for something more. I'm headed, and this, 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 this is headed out, okay? He's headed out. Now, this is definitely a replay from yesterday's. Um, now, there's another offer here with the Knight of Cups. It's like there's a, there's a better opportunity for love. There is a better opportunity for love. <laughs> now, didn't I start out the reading with this card? I think I did. And I just shuffled. I have. I should have showed you this card. This was on the bottom a minute ago, and I just shuffled. It's on the bottom again. There's pain here. This is a painful release. But somebody's inner guide has told them that it's time to believe in themselves. It's time to follow their own path. Didn't I explain the Hierophant at the beginning and I said something, it's time to, f believe me, I am the Hierophant, I am Taurus, I have investigated the Hierophant to extremes. So I'm telling you what. This is one card I can tell you about that I have investigated. Somebody is being divinely guided to do what's right for themselves, to protect themselves, to put themselves first. And have faith in the plan. Have faith that what is meant to be will be. Have faith that in themselves. Have faith and trust. That they are being guided in the right direction to believe in themselves. Believe in a higher power, perhaps. These fell out. We have a new passionate beginning when somebody steps outside of their fears, steps outside of their comfort zone, takes off that mask. And let's go of the opportunity that is no longer fruitful. Somebody has been hanging on to an opportunity that is, has gone south. It's gone south. And it's kept them trapped. And now they have a new opportunity for... To take a new adventure for growth, for expansion. And it's like somebody has this new desire, this new vision for success. It's like, I got this vision and I got to go get it. 
But in order for me to go get it, I'm going to have to step outside of my comfort zone and face my fears and drop this opportunity that, you know, is no longer fruitful. You know, there's there's no confidence in this opportunity. There's no growth. It's It's like it's a dead end. So, yeah, somebody has a new opportunity. They've been divinely guided to take it to take it, to release this one and search for something more. So somebody is, if I say, releasing one and heading towards another. I'm yet to see any women in this reading. And I know a lot of you women want to take the, take the, uh, power away you know you want to say it's you but i'm gonna i can't i mean show me where the women are please we got this one 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 woman in every one of these cards and this woman i mean it could be a man i don't know this woman she's got she don't want to accept the truth so yeah we got we do have a woman here who you know she may play the victim we may could have a woman here that has a victim mentality, you know, and she's kept you stuck. Who knows? Who knows? We could have this this woman here who has caused a lot of mental turmoil in, in this man's life. Who knows? We do have one woman here that It looks like she wants somebody to save her, but she really has to save herself because this man can't save her if she doesn't put in effort, if she doesn't, you know, want to see things clearly, if she's the victim, you know, it doesn't work like that. So I think, again, I mean, this is basically a replay, <laughs> unfortunately. We have a release. We have a transition. We have a death. Okay, we have a death, an ending. That somebody has tried to avoid, but they've come to the point where they can't, I can't do it anymore. It's time to take the mask off and make you see. We can't, we can't pretend anymore. The truth is going to come out. So somebody is heading in a new direction. I mean, that's what this is. And I think that they're heading in this new direction because perhaps their vibration has changed. You know? Wherever they've been, there's been, there's been, it's felt like it's been a loss. It's been a loss. They haven't received, at this point in time, they aren't feeling secure and stable. It's not, this is no longer secure. It's not stable. I feel at a loss. And this person is finding the strength to take charge and, and head towards a new passionate beginning. I mean, that's what it is. I believe that this is the th that this is what I have to do. It's time for me to release. I can't play this game. Somebody is leaving a situation. This could be somebody actually leaving your life. If you know what I mean. This is very much the same reading that I did for the 16th. There's a new opportunity being presented. 
And it's a better one. It's a better opportunity. Absolutely. It's like there's a new a, a new start, a new beginning, a, a a new beginning that is so alluring, so uh exciting that it just cannot be denied. So somebody is headed down a new path. Because where they're at, there's no more growth. It's the same story. We're going to get one of these. I mean, I can't, if their energy, I, I can't change the energy. Somebody's looking for a more solid, stable commitment than where they're at. That's all there is to it. They probably were dealing with a person that was emotionally withdrawn and it made them feel insecure. So it's like, shit. This is definitely a fucking replay. Excuse my language. Stepping into power. And that's what he's doing. That's what this man is doing. I know all you women gonna think it's you, but whatever. Don't like to give the man any credit. That's why he leaves. I thought about this after my other reading. We got all these women out there that, you know, are they're so pushy and so aggressive, and I'm one of them. I'm not afraid to say that. A lot of women are, but I'm not. These women, these men... Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be a powerful woman or that you shouldn't stand up for yourself because I'm all for that. I'm all for woman empowerment. I absolutely am. But it takes two to tango. It really, really, really does. And men need nurturing and love, and care, and kindness. Just as much as the woman does. So anyway, I'm going to read the card now. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. Why would a man stay with a woman who doesn't communicate? Doesn't put in effort. Withdraws. Wants to constantly fight with him. You got to give him credit for walking away. He didn't fight with himself. It took two. Anyway, stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Take back your power. Stand in your own light. And that's what it says. No shit. Stand in your own light, even if your burden seems heavy, and it has been a he heavy burden. It makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. The challenges you faced are making you stronger. And there's been some challenges, there's no doubt. You no longer need to live your life for others. Yet, if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. And there's, there's some sort of illuminating going on here. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. It's funny the words that come out of my mouth. I just got done saying. I never had this card before. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. I just got done explaining to you about that, didn't I? 
It just is. If you've, if you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's time to reclaim it. And that's what's happening here. There's no doubt. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you are afraid of being judged, shunned, or rejected, it's time to let go of your hesitation. If you've been carrying responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's time to decide to either let them go or continue forward with them. But on your terms, somebody's being let go. We already talked about that one. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. And I was thinking about this yesterday, after yesterday's reading, a lot, a lot, I thought about yesterday's reading. It all boils down to the man, really, it does. Because all of us women are so feminine, we're all, you know, so forgiving. And most of us, not all of us, some of us are the aggressive, well, we have both, all the traits, right? <laughs> My mind just went blank about what I was thinking about. It all boils down to the man making the decision whether he wants to stay or not. And, and yesterday's reading, you know, I was saying how it's the man that's walking away. If Even if you are the woman that actually left, he didn't stop you. He didn't change. He made the decision to let you go. Don't think you didn't play a part. So yes, we have a man here again. And then no, whatever, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. That is deciding to let somebody go. Because this fight, this battle, not worth it. I'm looking for passion. I'm looking for love. And I'm looking for growth. And wherever they're at, there ain't none. And you did your part in making him either walk away or let you go. Talk to you tomorrow.